they are on the other side of outer space. OMG, you fought with me, my nigga gon' put you in your place. OMG, you fought with him, I gotta shoot you in your face. OMG, I'm winning, bitch, your nigga, where we in first place. This gift of pot. You know what I'm saying? Shit like this every fucking day, bro. Hey, I do this shit for my young. I do this shit for my young. Everybody out there be going through something, bro. Shit, real, bro. Hey, don't play with me, bro. Let's go. Play with me, don't do that. Play with your bitch. Play with your bitch. This third, third, you know, this shit. I'm just trying to show all my fans the environment out. Why my ex was mad? 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 Bitch, I'm from giving that K.A. to G. That's a fucked up environment. Fucked up environment. It's basically shit. I pull up the tech. I pull up the lean. Let's go. Broke little nigga sip green. And I got a contact. Came with the beam. Let's go. Ah, free man. Just crashed the video. Ah. I was in the fourth grade. You know what I'm saying? I remember this shit. Like it used to be my uncle Ronnie. I had an uncle named Ronnie. Dude, um, used to crack. You know what I'm saying? I don't know where the hell he at now. But I used to have to go over there after school. He had a little couch with a whole bunch of toys and shit under it. And like, I seen a toy gun. Like, I tried to do that shit, but I rolled with it. I rolled. When I rolled, I hit my head under the couch. When I hit my head under the couch, I stayed up for a little bit. I seen some shit shining. It was a 22 revolver, a real gun. I'm a kid, though. So I just walk out the house, and I shot that bitch. And I couldn't hear out my ear for like a week. I was only in fourth grade, but I took that bitch everywhere. To school, I took that bitch everywhere. If you played music or anything like that, oh, he was down to dance. He was ready to dance and perform, always. I started rapping in eighth grade. Fuck your mind, thing it only took a day. Bitch, I need that cash, you better underlay. Thirty-eight on my fucking waist. Do you wanna taste? Had to put that hoe in lost and found, cause she ain't know her place. She lost that hoe. Just get out my face, bitch. You a disgrace. Got a yellow. I was, I was listening to um, like Michael Jackson, Lil Wayne. He has class. First in the lunch line. My lunch ticket. Let me eat rappers at lunchtime. YouTube. Chris Brown. Ed Sheeran. Well, Ed Sheeran. Come on now, follow Yeah, I want to be Michael Jackson. That was since I was like five. With the city being so small and not that many people having like that much space, I thank God just seen it and was like, he gotta help me. You know what I'm saying? He gotta help me go up. Like, been good to me, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I thank God every day for everything he do for me, you feel me? Does it feel crazy just because like you're coming from the perspective of a person who ain't really like ever had shit? I always had faith. Well, you're not diagnosed with bipolar or anything like that. Yeah, I am. I was in the seventh grade. They sent me to the um, bakery at, kept bringing knives to school and shit. I fucked around and pulled one out on one of the motherfuckers in the lunchroom. I was sitting in the class and I met a nigga. He had a, a mic with a with a, with a a hanger in front of that bitch with a wave cap on it. He said, shit, we can make a song. Just in his room or some shit? Yeah. You feel like you took to it right away? Yeah, I took I was like, shit, I'm gonna rap today. Keep it 1,000, keep it 1,000, just keep it 1,000. It's Florida, too, so like, Florida is a very envious state. You see, ain't too many rappers, like, made it. They ain't want you to get that far. That's why I really salute, like, Florida artists, because it's like, it's really hard, like, to make it out of... Especially, especially the last couple years, y'all have had state. it the last couple years, Yeah, man. it's not really a music state, like, it's not, because it's like, the police, it ain't, and then, then we from Florida, the way they... First time you play a nigga music, it's like, Lord, I can't help it. I'm like, who the fuck this shit is, bitch? Man, fuck that nigga. Put Kodak on, bitch. Police turned around and 
bro. This is Indian River County, by the way. I'm from Indian River County, IRC. Niggas out here really, niggas dying and shit. You feel me? You crack it just as dirty. Yeah, these crackers dirty. You feel me? But it's a jungle. Everybody go up in the jungle. <laughs> Not everybody, but you know what I'm saying. Like, Okay, so how did y'all start? Do you, you don't remember exactly how you became friends, and was it was it a natural connection? Who did you meet first out of the whole Y and W camp? Uh, rest in peace. Right. And was it obvious right away that you guys were all gonna like start rapping together, or how did that all come together? That's my cousin. Yo, see, real niggas do real things, you know what I'm saying? And all I hang around is real niggas, you feel me? This shit here right here, a family, nigga. You know what I'm saying? This shit ain't just was made overnight. Nigga had to grind for this shit, nigga. Nigga ain't just wake up, nigga, on this shit right here. Nigga had to really grind for this shit, really get this shit out the streets, nigga. And Portland, that's my cousin, too. Sixth grade, so you guys are like 12 or so, and, yeah, yeah. and you first met him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What was your impression of him? This nigga crazy here. This little nigga, he just like me. He little as fuck. He crazy. What's the Y and W stand for? Young fucking nigga world, man. Young nigga world. Young nigga wave. You know what I'm saying? Just doing some shit to stay out of trouble. Cause that's all that is to do is get in trouble right now. Making music and shit. When did everybody it? was making their own music though. Mm -hmm. So then like, we just started rapping together. Was there when, when did the Y and W name come about? Was, um, we had a song. It's um, called Y and W Freestyle. Now that one. Huh? How'd that start? Huh? Like, you remember how it started? Yeah. It was like, made it through the struggle. Got, got it, it off the muscle. When did it start to actually pick up? Like, when your music started to get really noticed and shit? That bit was always booming in school. Especially, like, high school. Everybody was funky. So I was like, yo, okay, yeah. In the blow, we are next. Oh man, fuck Vero Beach High School for real. <laughs> you weren't fucking with it? Oh my god, they hated us. They never wanted us to be no rappers. Like, mm. they knew we had like an influence though, like on the other kids though. Like, because you guys were already kind of popping even when you were yeah, in high yeah, school? Yeah. We never had no good. You can't hang around us if you got fun. Never had felt, never gave a fuck about what nobody said about us or anything. Because we know what we doing. You know what I'm saying? Marcella dream. I was Marcella dream. Marcella dreams. Uh, All I wanted was Marcella D. Yes, the best with diamonds. Take that water, baby. Drop the top, let us do the weather. It don't get no better. Young niggas, we paint the stacking. They went to the Phoenix. I knew they were super late. I know the young niggas back at it. I am your favorite rapper. I don't care what, who the fuck you like. I am your favorite singer. I don't care who it is. I am them. I watched every video they did, every mistake they made, every every good thing they did, every sound they made. I know that shit. I know how to do it. So when you you know what I'm saying? How the fuck can I not be your favorite? How the fuck can I not be your favorite rapper? At what point do you uh, drop out of school? Though? Tenth grade, really. Yeah, I had went to jail for the school shooting thing I did. School shooting thing? Yeah, I was shooting by the school. What was that situation? Nigga had my gun, you know what I'm saying? I had brought it to school one day, then he told that I had that bitch at school, and he fought. I guess he had his homeboy follow me. And I guess when I went to the office to get searched, they came back, they doubled back and had the, the pistol. I ain't never like pay attention to it, because I was still trying to find out who the fuck had my shit, till one day I found out they had my shit. I had to bust at them boys for that. Should I be talking about that? They sent me to jail. Like, especially like in jail, he ain't like me. You know what I'm saying? He not like me. Because them niggas don't have no plan. They ain't had no plan. When I was in that bitch, I had a plan. You feel me? Like, hey, I'm in this bitch. Hey, I know what the fuck I'm finna do when I get out of this bitch. I'm finna blow. You know what I'm saying? But like, when you locked up, it's like, damn. I'm doing the same shit every day. I'm eating the same food. I'm wearing the same clothes. What the fuck I'm around about? I'm Buddha. I'm Buddha. Wow. 
I'm rolling on Zenny, I'm bullet. Wow. Sneaking and geeking, I'm rolling, I'm tweaking, I'm riding around with that 40 on me. Oh, and you nigga talk, but they don't want no beat, cause I'm bullying, I'm bullying, I'm bullying. I don't beat. like home stress in jail, like. You can't, your ass gonna be there for a long time. You keep stressing. I just be happy to talk to God. Cause like everybody like making like gangster music. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Ain't nothing wrong with it, but like, like it's a certain like, you know everybody like aggressive. You know what I'm saying? But I felt like I had to come in a different way. Right. From everybody like I could break a love song down to where like females can relate to it, but at the same time I'm, I'm telling you something street. You know right. What I'm It's, are you getting any kind of like vocal assistance or anything like that? No. It's just not, is that all, that's all you? Yeah, just natural. I just pray to God like every day for new melodies and like I just, just do whatever I want to do. Because the shit, it don't sound like, it's, it's not like trapped out, but it's not, and it sounds like kind of like pop infused a little bit. When I first got locked up, cause I ain't know what I was, I ain't know what they was gonna do. I ain't know, I thought, damn. I was so young, I ain't know. And I was like, man, hell nah, they finna give me a year. Yeah, some extra time and shit. I'm like, damn, they gonna forget about my ass. Right. Everybody gonna forget about me. Certain days you have your days where it's like, you come up with a melody and then you like, damn, that melody hard now. Nah. Boom, then you come up with the lyrics like three days later And you just let your brain do what it do Or your soul rather And you just keep praying And you gonna make a hit while you in jail And while I was making it like, When I slid it to somebody They were like, damn And then the whole jail was like, bro, that's a hit Literally every person inside of the jail facility Including the staff, I ain't gonna include them That was gonna be the song. Yeah. So who am I talking to right now? Am I talking to Melly, Melvin, Mel? Like who am I talking to? You talking to Melvin? Cause I'm mad. <laughs> Nigga ain't no, no average rapper, no average Jody. The y'all rapper push 2017, I'm not rapper, no push. I ain't trying to be like nobody else. You can tell I'm from Florida, but you can't, you know what I'm saying? You can't compare me to nobody. You have a collect call from. Seems like the older I get, the younger the people I see going to jail get. And what does that I am you oh, mean to you? I mean, like. I am you, you know what I'm saying? Like, I literally am you. That's why it's so many different. Like, it can't be in a genre because it's like so many different emotions and feelings because I am you, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So, everything you feel, I feel. Mm -hmm. Like, when you're hungry, I'm hungry. I'm hungry right now. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> It's more than just, I am your favorite rapper, but I am you. That's why you don't, like, some of my fans don't even know why they love me so much, because I am them. So they relate to me so much, because I am, I am you. Like, if you were a rapper, this is how you look. How many personalities do you have? Six. Six? Yeah. What are the six? I can't, I can only reveal three. 
<laughs> Wait, why? Because the other three aren't going to be able to be um, released until next year. You got Marcus. It's Marcus, baby. You got, you got um, YNW Melly, the rapper. You got Melvin. But Melvin just started rapping, too. So what are the three personas? Like, what's different about each one? Melvin don't play no game. For okay. sure. He on your ass. Melly, he just, you know, he cool. He funny. But Marcus, he the little... Marcus, he the one, like, I'll be in disguise. Like, if I got, like, the shades on okay. and a hat. And you can't really tell who I am. And I'm doing some regular people shit so I can just feel like, you know. A regular person. Yeah. And then you come out and you, you know, you drop this record with Kanye. What was it like working with Kanye? Awesome. Awesome? Super mega awesome cool. He heard my music in Paris. Like, shout out to Sai. He flew me out there. Went out there. Seen him in the studio. Yeah. She chemistry was just crazy. Showed him the song. He put his little sauce on there too. Cause he was like, yeah man, this is me, man. You know, this is my life. I gotta get on the song, man. You know, yay, Yeezy. Oh, now I got mixed personality. This bitch was start my whole mentality. This girl, she got mixed personalities. One day she's happy, then she's mad at me. Said you, want you know, I fuck with bro. I understand him, so yeah. Well, the robots like are, that are in it. What no. do they represent? Like you have a robot with three heads. What I, I didn't understand like the message behind it. Basically, it's just weird. It's basically just different. Like three heads, three different personalities. Like, okay. Three bitches. So what you got tattooed on your face? Tell me about it a little bit. You know, I got Sat Chase right here. That's my brother. That's my twin. Okay. And I got Juvie. Juvie? Yeah, that's my brother. Just a lot yeah. of your friends who passed? Yeah. No, nah, them my niggas right there. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> my brother's right there. My bad. I wouldn't get none of my friends tattooed on my face until they died. Yeah, nah. I'm not shit. a good friend like you this are, apparently. Nah, this shit for life. Switching gears now to an arrest and the murders of two men in Miramar, a South Florida rapper is now facing charges. And two men are in jail this morning, including an up and coming Florida rapper charged with shooting and killing Anthony Williams and Christopher Thomas Jr. They're also accused of, as you said, staging this crime scene to appear as though it was a drive by shooting. Ironically, one of his biggest hits on YouTube is titled Murder on My Mind. Mr. Demons, you're facing two counts of um, premeditated murder. The rapper defending himself on social media, saying in part, quote, unfortunately, a lot of rumors and lies are being said, but God is with me. It don't matter what you want to do as long as you got God and faith on your side. I know y'all mama don't believe in y'all because it's like y'all so young and shit. But keep that same vision that you want to be. Keep that same exact vision and put all faith into it the same way. Dance school, stay out of jail. That shit there. That nasty ass food. You dirty drugs. I've been there before. I used to want to kill myself. Oh. I used to. I got Baker at this. This shit y'all don't know about me. Like, you know what I'm saying? I got Baker at this. Like, both of them trying to kill myself. You know, I know how I feel. I'm just, I'm just so glad God ain't let me do that. You know? You're an amazing person. And you're gorgeous and you're beautiful. God made you the way you look for a reason. You're beautiful. You're beautiful. This shit like a dream. Shit we done prayed for. It's like really hip. Everybody proud, like everybody happy. But we still hungry at the same time though. We still want more. You got a problem, no pussy bitch, but these are soft, don't fun shit. Damn, these are having fun shit. I'm gonna screw all the luxury, but you done and shit. But you got that fun and you going done and shit. And my nigga know so he hit a dummy dick. I was 17 when I hit my first dick. I was 16 when that pussy I got big dick. I was 13 when I had that hit a little bit. But damn, I just playing, I was wild with him. Just a nigga fold. They went shower. Say stone now, take a cold shower. Damn, shit, we need to lock up for an hour. I was locked up for a year. Baby, that's a lot.